first hack is your input shapes your outlook. So be very, very aware of what you let in. You have agency. You have control over yourself. You have, you can choose what you listen and what you believe. This is the beauty of being humans that we have agency and we can say yes and we can say no, thank you. I don't want that right now, but thank you. So those things are your identity. They create your identity. They create our self image and our self image and our identity what we believe who we are is what allows yeah, allow us to get what we want or to not get what you, we want. To go after what certain things and to not go after certain things. So it's extremely, extremely important that you do that, that you do pay attention to what you feed your mind with, what kind of books you read, what kind of TV shows you watch, what kind of friends you have. This is huge because, my lovely lady, if you have that desire of getting married or creating a sacred contract with a man, with the right man for you, and you have a girlfriend or two or three or four that are uh, male bashing or they are cynical, they are angry because they are recovering from a breakup. And of course, you know, we all go through phases and anger is one of those. Or if one of them doesn't believe that she's worthy, all those negative conversations are going to chip at you and chip at you and chip at you until you either believe what they believe or you're going to be spit it out of the group. I encourage you to either find new friends or if you don't want to leave this group of friends because you love them a lot, at least don't talk about this subject with them. You can talk about anything else you want. You can go party, you can talk about fitness, you can talk about this and that and that, fashion, um, whatever you want to talk about that you are bonding over. But when it comes to men and dating and relationships, please cherish, cherish your mind and your heart and be very, very careful on what you let in, okay? So, the way you see your love life will be transformed as a result when you start to feed your mind with positive things, okay? That doesn't mean that we are going to be in la la land, that we are not going to be looking for red flags, that we are going to go blindly. No, we are going to be looking for love with our eyes wide open, big wide open, but we are also going to come from a background of trust, of letting things to unfold, of patience, of, you know, I trust myself, I know myself, of vetting the guy and all that good stuff, okay? So that is the first hack. Watch what you let in your mind. The second thing that will allow you to exponentially get your men th there crazy for you faster is think 10 times bigger. So go after the guy you want. Go after the guy you want and go after the guy that you want and that he wants you. I know this sounds so, so simple, but sometimes we don't do it. Sometimes we go one after the guy that is easy to get, like the low hanging fruit. Well, ladies, that's not going to work on the long run. Number one, when we go after the guys that are easy, that are like the low hanging fruit, they're really difficult to get rid of. Really difficult to get rid of because they keep coming back. They keep coming back. 
And if we don't have a great guy with us at the moment, it's it's very easy to, you know, to go back with them because we get lonely and we have needs and all that. So don't even try. Don't even try. Just I'm saving you years of pain here. Going after the is the guy that you think you are going to get in an easy way. It's not going to be easier than going after the guy that you want on the long run. The guy that you really, really want. Number I told you the number reason number one, because the easy guys are very difficult to get rid of. And number two, it's because in the long run, this guy is not going to be able to make you happy. And the only way, you see, okay, let me say this first. Women on our feminine energy, we have to feel good to do good. Different than men, that they have to do good to feel good. Okay, so women, we have to feel good to do good. So if we settle down, if we settle, if we don't go for after what we want, we are going to be with a guy that we do are not very happy because he's not what we wanted. Not that there is anything wrong with him. He's, I'm sure he's lovely, but it's not what we wanted. So we are not going to feel good. We are going to be unhappy. And that's going to allow us to do what? We are going to have a very hard time to do good. We are going to, if we are not feeling good, we are going to be our, at our worst. It's going to trigger our worst. Or as I like it to say, being your, bringing your best self to the wrong person will bring the worst out of you. It's just normal. It's that there is, you are good. You are good. There is nothing wrong with you. So go after the guy you want. You see? So dig deep and find out what you want your love life to look like in six months, in a year. I challenge you, in five years, in five years, what, how your love life looks in five years and write it down. And then the beauty of this is that you can do something that is called reverse engineering. So you are like in five years, I am happily married. I am living with my husband in this house in, I don't know, North Carolina, I have a three-year-old uh, toddler and a one-year-old baby and a puppy. My house is beautiful. I have flowers inside and outside of my house. I have a small, tight community of friends that help me and support me. And, uh, and we are happy we we deal with our challenges in a healthy way so you write down everything you want and then you ask yourself what kind of woman do i have to be what character traits what attitudes what beliefs do i have to have what do i have to do every day in order to get there and you start with the end in mind so in other words you don't wait to get there to feel in the way you're going to feel when you are there. That is a lie. We can feel happy and content and connected today. It's a choice. It's a choice. And even if you're saying, oh, Natalia, I really, what you are saying, I don't connect, try it. I challenge you to try it. Try it for one week to feel, to be in the way that that woman that you are imagining in five years is going to be. And you're going to see that all kinds of miracles are going to start to happen. That's where the magic happens. You see, if we wait to get what we want, to be grateful, to be happy, it's never going to happen because happiness and being grateful it's something that is a choice and it happens now. You see, there is somebody in a worse situation than you right now. I can bet you if you have, 
internet, if you have a phone where you can watch this, if you have the time to watch this, if you have the desire of creating an amazing, conscious, loving relationship with a masculine energy man that adores you, if you have all that, you are ahead of 90% of the women in this world. So right there, you can be grateful right now and you can be happy right now, okay? So that was hack number two. Now, hack number three, it has to do with God. It has to do with, with believing that there is something bigger than us, believing that there is an intelligence that knows what is best for us in the long term, an intelligence that loves us beyond everything, loves us unconditionally, no conditions, an intelligence that, uh, that is creating our reality that is supporting you, us. So pray with faith, pray with faith. This could be, you know, mantras, this could be meditation, this could be prayer, this could be, you know, singing, this could be in any way, pray with faith. Have faith over fear. When the fear comes to you, because it will, Fear is a, an emotion that is part of who we are as human beings. And there is nothing wrong with it. It has a very, very, um, it has a very, um, like, a, it's a survival purpose. It, it's biology. It's there for a reason. But if we let it, if we let fear overcome us at times where we are supposed to be having faith, that's when we have to pray and pray harder, okay? God is love and he wants us to give part of the load to him. He doesn't want us to do it alone. He wants to help us, but he gave us a free will so we learn how to do it from our heart. And we say, here God, this is my load. I do want love. I have gone to so many dates and I don't seem to meet good guys. I was married once and that marriage ended up bitter and in betrayal. And, you know, I am afraid. I am afraid that I will never meet the right man for me. I am afraid that there is something about me that is not lovable. I am afraid that, you know, that, 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 it's never going to happen for me. I am afraid that I am too much, that no man is going to be able to hold all, all the me that I am so big. Or I am afraid because I am afraid. I don't feel safe. Just take this load. I'm sharing it with you. I'm sharing the responsibility of dealing with this with you and guide me, guide me in the right way, guide me to find solutions, guide me to find peace, guide me to find the right people that will support me and help me heal and help me move forward. So this is it. This is it. Surrender to faith and pray. Number four, and I'm going to go a little bit faster now because we have been here for a while now. I don't know for how long, but it has been a while. Um, Stop being everything to everyone. I see you. I see you. You're taking care of your nephews, your niece. You're taking care of your mom, of your aunt, of your friend. You are volunteering at school. You're volunteering at church. You are also in charge of the track club at school. And you are spreading yourself out way too thin. So you are too busy to take care of this area of your life. And uh, the man of your life is going to have a really hard time getting in and waving himself in, you know, find this takes energy. So something, some mistaken way of thinking that some women have is that it's going to, because they have been dating for years and not getting the results. If we really, really focus on this, it happens in a very short period of time. It doesn't have to happen in, you know, you don't have to do this for three years. And if you hire a coach, somebody like me, it happens between three months 
to nine months, depending on the repair we have to do. So it's not a very, very long period of time. And uh, you focus your attention on that area, and then you keep going with the rest of the things. And it's not that you are not, you know, taking care of your niece and your nephew and all that, because those are actually things you can do with a date. But um, it's, it's your energy, it's your intention. When you go to bed at night, you think about your vision in your love life. When you get up, the same thing. When you're doing the dishes, you are thinking that you're doing the dishes with him. When you go to bed, you're thinking, oh my God, I'm going to bed with him. So for a short period of time, you focus in your love life and the right man will come and he will adore you. So it is safe and it is okay for you to have, you know, a relationship. Um, and everybody will benefit from that. Everybody, your niece, your mom, the club, everybody. Everybody benefits from you being happier and more fulfilled and content. Remember, when we feel good as women, we do good. So you being happily married and feeling good it's going to allow you to do good. So everybody will re receive the benefits of it. And the last one is accept the fact that what you want, it's already yours. It is safe and okay to have an amazing relationship with a man. It is safe and okay that you want to get married and have a family and leave legacy. It is perfectly, perfectly it's, it's, a, it's a noble and worthwhile goal, okay? Know in your heart of hearts that you can have it. Surrender to your dreams, surrender to your vision. You can have it. Like, you know by now I love Madonna. <laughs> and Madonna said it so beautiful. If you want it, you already got it. You already got it, okay? So I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you a little bit of light. I hope this helps you, motivate you, inspire you to, to, do, to take these five steps, pick one a week, journal on them, meditate about them, think about them, and take baby, baby steps. As I said, just the fact that you are showing up here and watching these videos and being part of my community, that is already setting the wheels in motion, okay? But if you take a baby step each time, it's going to happen faster. But there is something called perfect timing and I do believe that if you are showing up for these talks and uh, listening to this and surrounding yourself in this bubble of love and inspiration and motivation you are halfway there when divine timing shows up you are going to be ready okay so I want you to know that wherever you are is the right place to be and uh, that I love you and uh, that everything is going to be great. 2024 is going to be an amazing year. I know I feel it with all of my body. I know it's going to happen. And um, if you haven't yet taken advantage of my free gift to you, uh, book it. I, put, I posted the link in the comments. The link is in my bio. Uh, it's a free 45 minutes love breakthrough coaching session with me. It's valued $300 and I am giving it to you for free. And I promise I will give you three practical solid steps to move the needle in your love life towards where you want it to be. So take advantage of that while it's there. And uh, I'll see you next week. Much love. Thank you for watching. Share it with a friend. Like my page. Support this channel as much as you can so other women can receive this good word. And uh, let's, let's 
I love love and I love for you to have it if you don't yet. Alrighty there. Bye bye.